You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. All that snow, piles of snow that fell at Lake Almanor in December is just about gone. That's time lapse from this afternoon in Plumas County. And it's looking pretty green out there. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff is tracking those conditions for us. Jason, I, I can't imagine we're going to get much more snow out there. No, we're running out of time quickly. It's almost April. Hard to believe we're almost a quarter of the way through the year already. The water year has been lacking for uh, lack of a better word. We still have some beautiful weather outside, but we need some rain and snow. The good news is we have some. This is live view looking out near the weed area, looking out toward the southwest. A few clouds. Those are not going to bring any rain or snow, but the clouds still over the ocean are going to give us a chance finally for some rain and some high elevation snow a little bit later in the forecast. Right now, uniform warmth all over Northern California, mainly 70s in the higher terrain and lower 80s for the valley. 81 degrees in Chico, Willows and Redding, 80 degrees for Red Bluff and Corning, 82 degrees for Oroville. Slightly cooler though than this time yesterday as expected. The ridge overhead, which has brought so much warmth, even some record breaking warmth Tuesday and yesterday, starting to weaken and allow some more clouds into our sky. So you can see that on Futurecast will have increasing clouds late tonight through tomorrow, just becoming partly cloudy by Saturday and Saturday is still going to be ideal. If you have anything outdoor planned, it is going to be a very nice day, slightly cooler with the increased clouds. But the good news is Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, here comes our chance for some wet weather. Here's five o'clock Sunday afternoon, already pushing the far southwestern Trinity County and extreme western Glen County through the night Sunday into Monday, especially that's our best window of opportunity for some air areas of rain and I've been tracking this storm all week. It's still on the same track that it was, most of which is going to be in the southern half of the state. We'll have some areas of snow in the Sierra, which is good. We need it, but we'll also have just enough of that rain pushing northward to give us better chances for some rain. It's going to be short lived though. Not going to lie to you, by Tuesday we're going to have fewer clouds outside, a big warm up again, and then two more storms will try to affect California's weather. But those are going to just give us glancing blows Wednesday and Friday. We're going to have some breezes, a few clouds here and there, and that is really about it. So we need to get as much rain as we can with this incoming storm. Here's one of our forecast models, and it's looking better than it has all week, bringing everyone one between a quarter of an inch and one and a third inches of rain coming up in the second half hour. I'll show you our other model and let you know if it's similar or if it has conflicting results. So here's a look at your three day forecast. Increasing clouds Saturday, more clouds on Sunday, Monday the best chance for rain, but it's possible before the sun sets on Sunday also and the highs will fall from the 80s down to the 60s by Monday. Here's your forecast for Saturday. Expecting highs in the northern mountains, mainly in the 70s with increasing clouds all day and certainly slightly cooler than it was this afternoon for the northern Sierra and southern Cascades. Not too cold tomorrow morning, mainly 30s for lows. Highs still in the 70s for one more day. For the ridge, we'll also have a nice mild night with most lows in the 50s. Highs in the mid to upper 60s, even some lower 70s around Concow as well as Megalia and Paradise. For the valley, we'll have lows tonight in the upper 40s and lower 50s just like they were this morning and daytime highs a little bit cooler than today. Upper 70s and lower 80s with increasing clouds throughout your day on Saturday. For Glen and Butte counties, lows also near 50 on average. Highs, upper 70s and lower 80s. Enjoy that warmth while we have it. We also have some welcome rain coming in our forecast. A chance for showers late on Sunday, but most of that rain is going to fall on Monday and then more breezes for the latter half of next week. Highs in Chico and in Redding will fall to the 60s briefly and then climb back up to the unseasonable 70s after that.